Hey there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, before the break, we asked you to think about which corn statement was not true. So let's go ahead and dissect them. So it turns out that there are actually an even number of corn rows in every cob. Interesting. Also, corn was indeed used as a substitute for coffee back in the 1800s since coffee was actually too expensive and even scarce at the time. So people parched corn and the ashes of the cobs and th that was what was used as baking soda. And it's kind of cool. Corn is still today often used in fireworks along with detergent, paint, and other ingredients. So that only leaves one answer. That's D, that the husk protects the corn from animals. This is just not true because it not necessarily is there to protect the corn, but rather to help keep it moist and juicy. I actually didn't know that, which makes me feel like I should have paid more attention in school, but uh, or like the two students at Veterans Memorial High School who um, are not only doing great things in their classes, but recently made the Texas Music Educators Association Region 15 District Treble Choir. It's such an honor and we had the chance to catch up with them about how they're feeling about it. My name is Michaela Flores. I'm a 12th grader and I attend Veterans Memorial High School in Mission, Texas. I'm excited to tell you that I make the TMA Region 15 Choir. I practice day and night literally and whenever I wanted to um, listen to my music, um, I just did that. I just did the all same music every day. Like I, I stopped listening to whatever I listen to every day. Uh, stopped with the car radio and all that just so I could get that music stuck in my head because I wanted to su succeed in this competition. We have some of the best music instructors in the Valley, probably in the world too. Um, they're very flexible. They're very flexible with our schedule and they care about us like a lot. So they make sure that we take care of our voice and we take care of ourselves. And um, they're really some of the best teachers we have in the world. Like there's there's some words I can't even use to describe them. Like there's countless ways that I can tell you that they're like the best teachers that we have. My family supported me greatly along the way. I'm, I have a very busy schedule. Not only am I in choir, but I'm also in SFA. So like um, I'm having like to, constantly like drive everywhere and everything right after school practice here practice there barely have time to keep on with my studies but I still do good about it but my family's happy with my success in choir because they know that I made a big jump since freshman year and I'm just glad that they gave me all that support throughout the years. Uh, hi I'm Armando Sandoval I'm a 12th grader at Veterans Memorial High School in Mission Texas. Uh, I made the uh, TMA, uh, TMEA All District Choir, and this accomplishment is really just such an honor to be able to like represent my school like with all these other like musicians who like have put in like the same amount of practice and like hard work that we put into this, and it's just like such an honor, honestly. When I was in sixth grade, I kind of just joined this like because I was like I needed a, an art credit, and honestly, I just kind of like fell in love with it, just like the idea of being able to like perform for these people and then just sing like all these amazing songs and then uh, in high school it just took over completely when I started like learning piano and all that and I just love the, the performance aspect of music and being able to like convey something to, to an audience. Uh, yeah in choir I've, I've sung like from just like Disney stuff to like really complicated uh, French songs or stuff in German even. And it's just really cool to like be able to have this wide range of knowledge with me just because I joined choir. And uh, yeah, I really like the just the pure range that this brings. Uh, my, my instructors were are they're honestly like really involved and because you can tell they really do care about each and every single one of their students. And it's just such an honor to have those people as instructors. And my family has always been a big supportive of everything I do. Uh, they're extremely proud of me for this, and especially since this is one of the highest that I've ever gotten. I can only imagine how much they had to practice for those auditions, and they also had to make sure physically and mentally to be prepared, um, like eating right and getting plenty of rest. And getting enough sleep will definitely help keep our brains intact, but what if you're having trouble at night? I've actually been feeling that lately, uh, so our team went ahead and dropped by Box a Drop Mattress and Furniture Outlet for some tips on what you can do if you're feeling the same way.
So here at Box Shop Harlingen, uh, as soon as we have a customer walk in through the door, the first thing that we do is ask who the mattress is going to be for, whether it's going to be for a child, an adult, a guest bedroom, because we want to make sure that the mattress caters to your needs. Uh, so once we figure that out, we can start pointing you to the direction of, of mattresses that would be best fit for you, whether it be something soft, something medium, something firm, memory foam, or your traditional spring and coil mattresses. So they always recommend for you to change your mattress every seven to 10 years. Uh, that's typically the, the good uh, base uh, for when to change your mattress. But what we usually say is whenever the mattress starts to dip or have too much of a depression, uh, what that is is when you're laying on the mattress and you start hearing the, the springs start to, to, to creak, or if you start to, to feel yourself dipping in or one side of the mattress, you're starting to roll over, that's usually time to, to change out the mattress. That's when you know that you have a, a defective one. So if they recommend seven to 10, but sometimes it could be sooner, and those are usually the, the telltale signs. So all of our mattresses here do come with warranty. The, the warranty varies depending on the mattress you choose. Some have a one, 10, to even 20 year warranty. So with warranty like that, you wanna make sure that you take care of it, because if you were to, to stain or tear the mattress, that would void the warranty. So what we always recommend is to get a mattress protector. We sell some here at the store, which are micro, made out of a microfiber material. Uh, it fits like a fitted sheet too, so you're not gonna hear it or feel it in your sleep. It's completely waterproof, hypoallergenic, uh, dust mite proof. Uh, I've poured a water bottle on my own mattress at home just to test it out, and I picked it up and the mattress was completely dry. Uh, little things like that would really help to preserve your mattress, as well as rotating, or if you have the option to flip the mattress, flipping it as well, just to preserve the lifespan for it. You can get more information on some of the mattresses that we carry at our Facebook page uh, at facebook.com forward slash boxshopparlingen or at our website at boxshopparlingen.com. I was always super confused on when to flip a mattress, when to buy a new one, or if getting a new one would even help me sleep. So I'm definitely going to keep in mind what Alex said, and we hope that you can keep these tips in mind and that they'll help you also. So feel free to check out their location for one-on-one -on -one assistance if you'd like, or of course check out their Facebook page for more info and for funny mattress memes. And on that note, it's time to dive in a bit deeper into the world of sleep with an all-new Fun Facts segment. According to sleep.org, scientists actually don't know why we sleep. I mean, it doesn't seem to make much sense, right? We, we just stay still, not really moving too much or pretty much anything. We're unresponsive and we don't eat or sleep during that time. It's definitely interesting. Also, did you know that if you're driving while being sleep deprived, it's like you're driving um, intoxicated. Not getting enough rest can actually affect human response times, accuracy, and other cognitive abilities. And get this, according to their site, going 17 to 19 hours without sleep slows reaction times as much as having a blood alcohol level of 0 0.05 or above. Wow. And did you know that the world record for the longest time without sleep is 11 days? Now we have Valley Bodhi that wake up really early to begin our day at work. Um, and, and, and from one in the morning anytime rather from 1 in the morning to 5 a.m. but we make sure to get rest in the afternoons and the evenings of course so going a full 11 days without sleep yeah I don't know how someone could do that but someone did a 17 year old student named Randy Gardner back in 1964 earned the Guinness World Record for the longest time spent away up and about not sleeping he went 264 hours that's 11 days without sleep for a science fair project and of course experienced extreme fatigue and and here's our last fun fact for you. You know, some people say that they need eight hours of sleep. Yeah, I'm one of those people. And others say that they can just function on three to six hours. Well, contrary to popular belief, you can't really tell yourself that you need one or the other. The number of hours that you need for sleep is actually genetic. And going without how much your body tells you that you need can definitely have long-term health consequences. Sciences, scientists found out that our varied sleep uh, needs just depend on our family backgrounds by doing research on twins. That's how they found out, which is super interesting. All right. Well, that's all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us today and be sure to tune in again next time because we'll have so much more in store for you on Valley Board Vida. We'll see you then.